Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Weekday 3. Today we're gonna be making room decor and this is gonna be a recycled room decor. I'm gonna be focusing on jars and I wanted to keep the theme as fall. Now we really don't have fall in Delhi but it, if it would have been there, it would have been my favorite season. So yes, if you wanna know some cutesy, affordable, recycled room decor, then please keep on watching. The first thing we're making is a cozy coffee candle and for that you're going to be needing an empty Nescafe jar. Now if you're a coffee addict like me, you would already have it. You can use any other coffee jar as well. And then I'm going to use some candles. Now apparently using candles is going to cost you way cheaper than actually buying wax pellets. So I'm just shaving this candle off and literally this is so easy. I'm also going to save the wick because the wick is different. And then I'm going to sprinkle some coffee over it and mix it really nicely. I know this looks like coconut shavings right here. But yes, resist yourself. So next up, I'm just going to take this on a double boiler and melt it. Now double boiler looks like this. Take a pan, fill some water and then just constantly keep on stirring the wax until it melts completely. And once it does, like just before once it does, you just want to take your wick and wrap it around a toothpick or any other wooden stick and keep it upright like so. And once you pour the wax in, I did not trust my skills to do it on camera. This is what your candle is going to look like. And once you burn it, literally the aroma will fill in your room and make you feel so much more cozy. This is just perfect for any weather, not just fall, but any, any weather. And you can, of course, enjoy it with your own cup of hot coffee. And I love this DIY. It looks so cute. I did not remove the Nescafe sticker because it just added to the authenticity. Next, we're making a leafy wash and for that, we're going to be needing an empty jar of Kisan. Again, you can use any jar, particularly you don't need to use this one, I'm just giving you ideas. So I'm just removing the wrapper and of course, again, you're going to have Kisan jam bottles at your home. That is just how it's supposed to be. Then I'm going to be taking these fake maple leaves that I got. I got a whole lot of bunch of them and I'm just cutting a few of them out and then I'm just going to see where I want to place them on my jar and then taking my hot glue gun, I'm just going to stick them down. You can of course use any other glue for the call will take a little bit of time so you can use quick fix or fix all whatever you want to use so i just figured out that sticking uh, the glue on the jar is going to be a better idea because the leaves are quite thin so the heat does transpire through it and i'm also sticking down any edges that are sticking up so that it's like all fixed and nice and not just like 3D <laughs> and yes once I'm done with sticking all of the leaves and all of the base of the jar is covered I just want to leave it like that I'm going to take a manual driller and I'm going to drill a hole on the cap of the Kisan jam the size of the hole is going to be determined by your pump, the size of the pump and you can just buy refills from further on you don't need to buy the whole wash itself so you just want to take out the pump from the wash and then you want to make sure that your hole does fit it really nicely i'm going to remove this straw and i'm going to fit it right there i tried to spray paint and that's why it's looking dirty here so i'm just going to take some hot glue again i'm going to stick it right on top of the cap like so and then i'm going to spray paint it again my first one was a fail and once you're done with spray painting this is what's going to look like it looks really nice you can use any color that you want i really wanted to go for black then i'm reattaching the straw again and then I'm going to pour my hand wash into the jar and it's going to look so beautiful. I chose this particular wash just because it was orange in color and it really went with the fall theme. It looked really pretty. And then I'm just going to cap it back on and this is your leafy wash ready. Your washroom will look so much more cozier with this. It is just perfect. It looks so beautiful. I can't get over it. This is probably my favorite DIY out of the three DIYs we're going to be seeing in this video. I just love this one so, so 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 much and you can of course customize the colors according to your preference The last DIY is going to be a floral atomizer and for that I'm using this Dabur honey jar and again you would probably have this at your home. I'm going to get rid of the cap and then I'm going to take sandalwood essential oil because sandalwood is really appropriate for fall. I'm going to empty one pump of that into my jar and add water till the top and then I'm going to take a paper flour which can absorb the water and I'm going to stick a toothpick in the paper flour and then I'm just going to put the toothpick in the water so that all of the water can seep through the toothpick in into the flower and atomize your room with nice floral infusion again you can use any fragrance that you prefer particularly fall i felt sandalwood really went nicely you can use again anything that you prefer and this looks so beautiful so pretty you can just shake things up to make the oil just be like a lava lamp kind of a thing 
so yes those were all of the diys i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know if you like seasonal uh, diy room decors i would love to do them more often for you guys and yeah that's going to be it for this one this is the recycled diy room decor for fall and i'm going to see you guys super soon till then you can follow me on all of my social media i love you all so much Mwah. bye